I have this little device in. Pretty much it's just a needle in and it's tracking my blood sugar all the time. Cooked to perfection, if I do say so myself. Oh, I'm just dripping on the floor though. I'm interested because that is a little bit higher in carbs. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. I'm a health coach and I post videos on a high fat, low carb way of eating. So over the last week, I have been continuously tracking my blood sugar. I have this little device in, pretty much it's just a needle in and it's tracking my blood sugar all the time. Um, all I have to do is tap this and I can get a reading instantly. So yeah, I've just been eating my normal, very low carb, high fat, high animal product diet and seeing how that's been impacting my blood sugar. So there are a couple of reasons why I wanted to get this device and get this information. So for starters, I can talk all day long about how keto and carnivore are good for regulating blood sugar. And I've seen it with people I've worked with, I've seen it with my clients, but I've never actually tested it on myself, not like this. So that was one reason. The next reason is people often talk about eating too much protein and how that can be converted to glucose through gluconeogenesis and I wanted to test that out. And I also wanted to test out foods that are a little bit higher in carbs but that are still sort of keto and carnivore like kefir, how those impact my blood sugar. So yeah, I'm gonna talk you through my week show you some of the things I was eating and show you how those lined up with my blood sugar chart, blood sugar results. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more. Also, hang around till the end of the video because that's when I'm gonna tell you my plans for next week, <sighs> which are a little bit scary, a little bit exciting, more scary. I'm more scared about it but yeah hang around for that and i hope you enjoy the video good morning guys so yesterday i picked up a continuous glucose monitor and i'm going to be using it for the next two weeks so here it is this is the continuous glucose monitor I'm gonna stick this little bit into my arm. I kinda wanna put it on my stomach, but I think the readings are more accurate on your arm, I read. And then all you gotta do is tap this on your arm and you'll get your blood glucose reading. have it here. I had to wait an hour until I could test for the first time. That is my reading. Okay, so this day was a little bit of a weird one. Um, I started with the Bulletproof coffee in the morning and then I didn't actually eat my first meal until about 2.30 p.m. And that's a lot longer than I normally will do a fast for. But anyways, um, my blood sugar was <laughs> pretty low, but I wasn't having any negative symptoms, so I wasn't too worried about it. Like I wasn't shaky, I wasn't brain foggy. 
actually felt pretty good. I had that omelet about 2.30 p.m. as I said, and then I had the burrito bowl at about 6 p.m. So this next day, I had the bacon and eggs for breakfast, then I did a bike ride that was about two hours long. For lunch slash dinner, I was out and I was pretty much just nibbling on cheese and ham and avocado and olives all afternoon. By the time I got home, I was so full. And then I had one of these keto chocolate bars and that was pretty much it for the day. Again, just very stable. So this next day I wanted to do a little bit of a true carnivore day, so only animal products. I started out with those three small little steaks for breakfast. Later in the day I had a scotch fillet with some of this goat's butter, which I am obsessed with. It kind of tastes like goat's cheese, but as a butter, if that makes sense. Definitely try it if you haven't already. And then for dinner I just had some slow cooked lamb shanks. And then this is the next three days, so again, just very, very stable. The one little bump on the 24th at about 7 p.m. was when I had my hockey practice, so that was a little bit of a anaerobic workout. Other than that, um, yeah, not too much else to say. It was just very, very consistent, which is what I thought it would be, and it was. Also, comment down below if you like this format of just me doing the voiceover, showing what I'm eating type thing, or if you prefer a little bit more of a vlog style. I was going to do it more vloggy, but then honestly what I eat is so boring and there is only so much I could say about the handful of things I eat, but I don't know. I kind of, I, I like watching vlogs, even if they're not very interesting. I don't know what the appeal is. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe. So my plans for next week, aka it's starting tomorrow, is to eat vegan for a week and see how that impacts my blood sugar. So I could try to do a more keto vegan, even though I really don't think it is possible. Unless you're using like protein powders pretty often, you can't get enough protein from plants in general, but especially so when you're trying to keep your carbs low. Anyway. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to eat more of a typical higher carb vegan diet. I actually got a meal plan off the PETA website. So I'm going to be doing some of those recipes. Uh, honestly, I'm... <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh, one recommendation I looked at said five to six servings of beans in a day. Oh, that is so many beans. That 
that is so much fiber. But yeah, so this glucose monitor, it lasts for two weeks. So I've just finished one week. Now I'm just gonna do the other week with vegan. So that's just gonna be so interesting. But yeah, so watch out for that next week. And I'll see you then, I guess. Bye, guys.